In this video, let's talk about a problem you have probably faced. You create an input or a text area, but it just stays the same size no matter how much text you type. And if you want it to grow with the content, you usually end up adding extra JavaScript. But here's the good news. CSS now has a brand new property that fixes this for us. It's called field sizing and it changes the way form fields behave. Stick with me because I will show you exactly how it works, real examples you can use in your projects, and even a few tricks most developers don't know yet. So what exactly is field sizing? It's a new CSS property that controls how form fields like inputs or text areas change their size depending on the text inside. By default, it uses fixed, which means your field stays the same size no matter how much content you type. That's the behavior we are all used to. But if you switch it to content, something interesting happens. The field will actually resize itself based on what you type, growing or shrinking to perfectly fit the text inside. So in short, fixed is equals to normal behavior, no resizing, content is equal to auto resizing field purely with CSS. So let's compare both values with a quick example. Now let me explain this step by step. First line, this creates a normal text input with a class name fixed, so we can style it separately. The placeholder just says fixed field. Second line, this is another input but with the class content, this way we can give it different behavior. Next in the style section, here I set field sizing to fixed which is the default. This means no matter how much text you type, the input box will not grow or shrink. Then for the other input, this time I cite it to content so as you type more, the input automatically expands to fit your text. The difference is clear. The fixed field stays the same size, the content field grows with your typing. Now let's see some real life use cases where field sizing can make our life easier. Here I made a simple search input. Notice the field sizing content. This makes the search bar expand as you type more words. It feels much smoother than a fixed box, especially when searching for long phrases. This is just a normal text area. With field sizing content, the chat box grows automatically as you type more lines. Normally we'd need JavaScript for this, but now it's just one line of CSS. Imagine a form where users add tags or short comments. With field sizing content, each input adjust to the length of the text inside, it feels cleaner and saves space compared to fixed width inputs. So in real projects, search bars, chat boxes or dynamic forms, field sizing makes your UI smarter and more user friendly. Now before you start using field sizing everywhere, let's talk about its limitations and browser support. Right now it works in Chrome 114 and above, it's also supported in Safari 17 and above, but it's not supported in Firefox yet, they are still working on it. If you want to check live updates, just head over to caniuse.com. So what should you do if the browser doesn't support it? That's where progressive enhancement comes in. You can wrap it with supports like this. If the browser supports field sizing, it will use it. If not, it falls back to a normal fixed bit, so your layout won't break. This way you can safely start using field sizing today without worrying about old browsers. Now let's go a little deeper with some pro tips for using field sizing. By default, field sizing content makes your input or text area grow exactly with the text inside, but sometimes that can get a little out of control. That's why you can combine it with min width or max width. This way your field stays flexible but never breaks the layout. Here's a quick example. Field sizing content makes the input expand with text. Min width 150 pixels ensures it doesn't shrink too small. Max width 400 pixel keeps it from growing endless across the screen. Another trick, combine it with resize. Here, the text area grows naturally as you type, but users can still resize it vertically if they want, and you are keeping it within sensible limits. 